Hello and welcome Chippewa fans to a special edition of the Football Insider here on CMUChippewas.com. It's our season preview. Justin Hoff with you and the 2012 football season is nearly upon us. This Thursday the Chippewas open up the season against Southeast Missouri State at 7 o'clock. It's uh, going to be a special season and we're joined by a special player, senior wide receiver Cody Wilson. Cody, it's your final go around here. Has it sunk in yet and uh, what's your thoughts on the year? Honestly, um, I know I know it's my last year, but it's it's hard for it to sink in. I feel like I just got here still, but going into my last season, it's it's still not real yet. I'm sure it will be in a little bit, but I mean, I'm just really excited to start playing again Thursday and uh, get this thing underway. You guys just finished up your uh, final practice of uh, preseason. I know that has to be excited, and and uh, as you uh, get ready now for the opening game. You guys, every game come out of the tunnel, and we're expecting a, a, a packed house here Thursday. The student section, they're going to be uh, jumping around. What's it like to come out of the tunnel and go down to the student section as you'll do it one final time here with the home opener? Yeah, I, I mean, it's a little bittersweet knowing this is my, I guess, first of a lot of last starting, but there's nothing like it. There's not, not a feeling in the world that's like coming out of that, that tunnel, out of the helmet. So looking forward to it. Can't really prepare for it, but we're going to be pretty amped up. Adrenaline's going to be going, and uh, we're going to be ready to go. Now this year, when you run out of that tunnel, you're going to have some pretty talented wide receivers by your side. Uh, many people think it's probably the best wide receiving core you guys have had since 2009, your freshman year, of course, when you had Antonio Brown, Brian Anderson, Nikito Pobla alongside you. Uh, how talented is this group, and how deep is this group? Yeah, I mean, I mean, like you said, I was a part of that group in 2009. I didn't get to play um, quite as much as I am now, but you know, I've seen a lot of talented receivers here and I think we definitely are comparable talent wise to that group but you know they had a great great season on the field and we got to do that too and it doesn't really mean too much till we go out there but I mean from a talent point from a relationship point from a depth point you know I love all these guys and we're really talented but we got to go out there and show everyone what we've been working on and we're looking forward to that. There's some younger guys that Chippewa fans haven't seen yet, but we've had a chance to see them a lot. Andrew Flory, Jesse Kroll, who loves a one-handed catch, and also yeah. DeFerrell Davis, who's really fast. What are those guys uh, going to bring to the table? Yeah, I think they, they definitely bring a lot of depth. And, I mean, they don't have a ton of experience, so it's going to be good for them to get out there and make some plays. But, I mean, like you said, you got a guy like Jesse just makes some outstanding catches sometimes where you just turn your head because you can't believe it. And, and Andrew just makes plays all the time. He's a great player. He's going to have a great career here. And, like you said, DeFerrell, that guy can fly, man. He can just run. So we're looking forward to getting them out on the field. I'm sure the fans are looking forward to seeing them for the first time. Now, of course, it's your fourth season with the uh, Chippewas. And... You got your fourth wide receivers coach. Yes. Cody, what are you doing, man? Are you just scaring these guys off or what? I don't know. I don't know if I'm scaring them off or I'm getting them other jobs. So uh, I hope it's the second one. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely been a ride for me every spring. It's like I got to reprove myself. But I think that's been good. You can take a little from everyone. You, hopefully, you know, you take something positive from each one and you keep learning. I think it's been a good thing for me. I can't get comfortable. I thought they were, everyone was staying here for four years, but I guess it didn't turn out like that. <laughs> As, as, as you bring, you bring that, that up, up you've, you've probably learned every terminology that you could about wide receivers yeah. and probably yeah. learned everything, everything there, there is to know about being a wide receiver, receiver right? right? Right. Well, I mean, I thought there's one way to do it, but everyone kind of seems to have their own little niche and their own way to play it. So it's been good for me. It's kind of like, like I was saying, you just take what you think works and you kind of just add it to your toolbox and hopefully, you know, keep building on that. So I think it's, it's definitely a good thing, even just you know, playing in different offenses for me. I think I've learned a lot about football just being here. And it's even just from a personal standpoint, how to relate with each coach. It's, it's definitely been an experience. Two, Two more, more for you. you. I know you really want to get back to where the team was in 2009. The last couple of years haven't been uh, the seasons that you guys have wanted. What are you most looking forward to here in your senior season to, you know, one last go around to prove yourself, not only you individually, but as a team that you can come together and get some victories? Well, I think we're I think we're definitely looking back to win. I came to Central Michigan to win a championship, and we're, we want to win a championship this year. And I think all of us, you know, we, we have a lot to prove, no doubt. And we got a chip on our shoulder. I know I do personally, always, and I think as a team we do too. So, you know, we're really looking to get after it this year. We know we're not favored a lot, but that doesn't mean too much for us. We know what we got in the locker room, but, you know, we're going to have to go out Thursday night, get this thing rolling, and hopefully start on our way to a MAC championship. You say MAC championship, and back in 2009, of course, you guys won the MAC championship, won 12 games. You were a part of that team, and that team, you know, arguably one of the best teams Chippewa fans have ever seen here with the football program. What would it mean to end your career back, uh, going back to Ford Field, going for another MAC championship, your second as a Chippewa? Yeah, I think the if we did it this year, it'd mean a lot more than even my freshman year. Obviously, 
you know, I was just a freshman. I didn't even know what was going on. You know, I thought this that was an every year kind of thing. But now, you know, I've been at the top and definitely been at the bottom. And it, it'd mean a ton. You know, we, I've invested a lot in this program. All the seniors have. And it'd be really nice to not be at the back of the circle holding up the trophy, but maybe be one of those guys holding up the trophy. You know, that, that'd mean a lot to me. And I think it'd mean a lot to everyone here. We've been through a lot and we've invested a lot. And we're, there's no surrender in this group and we're looking to get back there. Cody, it's uh, been a pleasure watching you play the last couple of years. Really look forward to uh, 2012, your senior season. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we are uh, now joined by the head coach of the Chippewas, Dan Enos. Uh, coach, uh, your team's coming off a very successful camp. Um, in order to get there, your program has put in a lot of hard work during the offseason. How important is the offseason for a football program like yours? Oh, it's it's uh, crucial. You, gotta, you have to have a good offseason to, to give you a chance to compete. And as I tell our players all the time, just because you work hard and you do those things in the offseason doesn't guarantee you, you anything. It just gives you a, a chance to be successful. So um, it's, uh, it's, it's very important that your calendar's uh, uh, worked the right way so that uh, um, you're getting your guys the biggest and strongest and the freshest that you can get them um, by the time you start your season. We feel good where we're at health-wise right now. And we feel like we're in good condition, and um, we're looking forward to playing. Now, as we look at this year's training camp, went very successful. When you look at the training camp as a whole, what do you think is the biggest area you've improved maybe from years previous? Oh, I think depth is the, is the main area. We have a lot more people practicing. Um, we have a lot more guys I think we feel comfortable putting in the game at this point um, in different areas. You know, as far as a college football program goes, um, you're going to have turnover every year. You have guys graduating, you have freshmen coming in. Um, so your roster is going to change a little bit every year. And uh, so we've seen a little change in the roster. We like our freshman class. Um, we like the guys we redshirted. We, we had to play 10 true freshmen last year, and we redshirted 13 other freshmen. So um, to have those guys all back uh, a year older now and a year stronger, I think is going to uh, add depth to our team. Um, and then also when you, uh, you, know, you add the 20 seniors that we have, we were able to bring um, Taylor Bradley back for a sixth year, and, you, and we're able to recruit Anthony Young from Iowa State, who uh, had a fifth year of eligibility remaining. Um, so we added a couple guys uh, in the senior class there that I think that um, both those guys will be bonuses for us. Now, one thing we've been talking about, Coach, all preseason long is your experience that you have. You just mentioned it right there. But another theme is the leadership that you have with that experience. A couple weeks back, you named uh, three players as uh, team captains, uh, Cody Wilson, Jaleel Adai, and also Joe Kenville. What kind of leaders are those guys for your football program? Well, they're, they do a great job. I think uh, there was a lot of seniors that received votes, and I think um, there was a lot of seniors that were uh, worthy of the honor to be to be elected captain. I think there was a lot of guys that we as a staff would have been very comfortable with. But those are the three guys the team voted on. They were overwhelmingly the uh, um, the favorites and got the most votes, obviously. But uh, Cody's been a captain for two years now. Jaleel um, and Joe Kinville have done a, a tremendous job this, this whole entire year, and uh, I think their peers recognize that. Two more for you. Now, uh, your opponent on Thursday night is Southeast Missouri State. They return 19 starters. They're a very experienced team, much like yourself. Uh, what do you anticipate seeing from uh, the Red Hawks? They have a preseason All-American linebacker. They have a preseason All-American offensive tackle. Um, you know, um, their running back uh, says he's looking forward to coming in here and playing us um, on his Twitter page. And uh, um, so they sound like they're very excited, and I know our football team will be ready. And one thing, our final question is the support of the community. You know, a lot of new supporters really coming out for this season. You know, seven home games, uh, everything that's going on with the with the program. The student section is going to be more packed than uh, previous years. How important do you think that support is to your success here at home this season? Oh, I think it's uh, it's going to be a key. I think more than anything, it's just great for our players to see that all their hard work and all the, all the dedication and all the sacrifices they make, um, that gives them the opportunity to come out here. You know, you're only guaranteed 12 games, and um, some of those guys, for, especially for our seniors, maybe the last 12 they ever play. So to have good crowds out here is, is, is just really a credit to them. And, um, you know, we have great support, and uh, we appreciate when people come out and support us, and uh, I know our players do as well. Coach, uh, thanks for your time. We can't wait for the season to start Thursday night. Okay, thank you. That's head coach of the Chippewas, Dan Enos. The moment we've all been waiting for comes Thursday night under the lights right here at Kelly Short Stadium when the Chippewas take on Southeast Missouri State. For all of your coverage all season long, be sure to stay tuned to CMUChippewas.com for the latest news and notes on the team. For everyone here at the CMU Sports Network, I'm Justin Hoff. Thank you for watching.